Yo, yo, man. Fuck with your boy, Angie Fan 007, man. Shout out to the whole Angie Fan movement. Yo, check it out, B. Before we get into this blog, I gotta say shout out to you niggas, man. Y'all subscribe to this channel for battle rap. Y'all subscribe to Angry Fans Radio for battle rap. Y'all subscribe to Angry Fan News. Subscribe, I'm about to be on that joint too for battle rap, not for personal joints. So for y'all to still be rocking with me and I damn near died, you know what I'm saying? Six blood transfused. I'm over here for hours in comas and damn near on life support, man. I got to shout you out, man. I don't think I'm taking that for granted. Because y'all niggas is helping me get better, man. Real rap. Y'all will definitely help me get better. For the next year, y'all going to see me in hospitals and getting my arm fixed. And I'm going to show you niggas how it look. It, it look crazy, to be honest with you right now. It was too soon to show you niggas. I might get flagged or something for it being too gross. But it's just like, shout out to y'all. Don't think I'm taking that for granted, man. Y'all y'all are motivating me to keep this thing pushing. You feel me? So I'm not depressed. Oh, oh, man, damn, they got my arm amputated, you feel me? So I just want to say shout out to you niggas, real rap, you know what I'm saying? But um, I really want to say this, look. Now, first and foremost, this is not about Briz, Raw, Steen, or T-Top, but those is my mans, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this whole this whole situation, this whole, it's with Cape Gang, period. It's like, y'all got to understand something. Not even just them, this is for all the battlers. Like, battle rap is extremely personal now. Where anything you do that makes you look crazy will be said to you in a battle. You feel me? From your next opponent. And I just want y'all all to think about that. Briz, you my man. I'm not even coming at you crazy, but I don't like how you handled the whole mook situation, to be honest with you, bro. Like, even if, okay, like, what you should have said was like, yo, was I was wilding. I was bugging out. That's my bad. I don't got no problem with mook. And then moved on. You feel what I'm saying? For you to be like, oh, that's his mom's, that's his problem. Like, I'm really just hearing all of this. Like, nah, son. And the thing, the reason why I'm disappointed in you doing that is because, bro, I know where you coming from, nigga. You traveling around trying to get your name up. I know how hard it was for the South to even pop in battle rap. I know that, nigga. I know how hard it was for, for you and T-Top to get your name up. I don't want to see you niggas throw that shit away over nothing. You know what I'm saying? Over pride or your ego got you doing this, you know what I'm saying? And I know how you is. You real outspoken, Briz, which could be good, but which could definitely be bad, too. So when you you on the defensive end, it makes it look worse. It makes it look worse. Like, T-Top, you was trying to let niggas know you with this. Like, you don't got to do all that. Y'all niggas don't got to do all that. Y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? Either just, just be like, yo, I fucked up and let it go, bro. This let it go. I don't want no battlers thinking that they you you don't have to defend yourself all the time just because the fans are coming at you saying you wrong. You don't have to run the platforms and give your side out, and then it makes it look worse when everyone is listening to you say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like that's what just happened with Briz. Like Briz, you was going ham on Twitter. Now your Twitter gone. You had to delete your joint, and it's just like, bro, niggas still got these things that you were saying. That's not going to go nowhere. And now it's whack because, okay, you and T-Top were two of the top niggas in this joint right now. You do realize they about to come at y'all now. Now your opponents got all kind of angles on y'all. I don't give a fuck, bro. It's like, same thing with Tay Rock. I don't care. Check this out, B. Niggas is saying, I've seen the video. They saying uh, uh, Briz got ran, ran and left his man. Uh, I've seen Blackface punch Briz in the face. Uh, they saying Tay Rock was by the exit. Briz, you falling all over the place. Um, I seen the videos, and I know that those videos made y'all feel some type of way when they came out. But it's just like, you still got to think that you a battler, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them videos. Like, real rap, like, it is what it is. I want to even address, y'all address them videos too early, too soon. Every blogger done talked about it. Every radio show done talked about it. You got niggas outside of battle rap talking about it. it was, it's, it's the way y'all responded that made it look crazy. I don't think Tay Rock has even tweeted. He's the only one who, who that was kind of smart. That was actually kind of smart, in my opinion, to not say anything. Let it die down some. Y'all don't always got to rush to social media to defend yourselves. Because when you wrong, you making it worse. That's really what I all I really gotta say. I feel like Briz, you made it worse than worse than what it really had to be. Even though you started it, it definitely looks like you started it. You know what I'm saying? And that's for another thing too, bro. This whole um okay. 
Y'all was talking about Mook Moms. Now listen, I, I, we're not even going to play this game and act like we don't know his mom's passed away. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Now I thought for a second that maybe Briz didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not. I don't think it was really announced like that. I remember myself when his mom's when uh they was talking about his mom's passed away because I hit him up, I texted him, said my condolences, etc. But it wasn't like it was on the URL channel or nothing like that. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. It wasn't, and I was kind of shocked a little bit at that. Honestly, not throwing URL in it, but. I felt like maybe Briz had maybe Briz didn't know. But once people said T Top liked the post, which means he obviously knew about it, then it's just like, okay, so either Briz didn't know and Top didn't know and he still let it go. Like it doesn't matter no more. When once it came out that T Top liked the post, I mean Briz, it doesn't really matter if you knew or not anymore. Now you niggas look wrong and then y'all started off this in his moms. Let me tell you, son, it's not that serious. And I really feel like the only reason why this even got as far as it really got, and that's why T-Top's not really, really, really in the middle of this shit, is really because of the Dot Mob Cave Gang beat. That's what I really think this is really about. And now I'm looking at footage behind the scenes on Hip Hop is Real and whatnot, Snake Eyes and Tay Rock all up on each other and yada yada. Like, the tension was high for Dot Mob and Cave Gang. Let's just keep it real and, and, and call a spade a spade. Them niggas don't like each other. Yeah, it's battle rap, but they don't like each other at the same time. So, why don't you niggas just have a card and get it over with? Because otherwise, little stupid shit is going to keep happening. Y'all niggas went extra hard at move. And I really think, Briz, it's because you cave gang. You could say, nah, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's cool. I think you're trying to show your loyalty to Tay Rock. I think that's exactly what went down right there. And to be honest with you, that shit was whack. Like, you didn't have to do that. Because in my opinion, y'all was already winning. Calico and Mook, they had just started to turn up. When Mook had said that joint about his moms, and then Calico turned around and said he remember carrying his moms on his back. Like, before that, they started wild slow. Wild slow. Y'all think you niggas, y'all was going to win that battle. Y'all was going to win that battle, I felt like. So it's just like, you did it to yourself there, but I, I would have held my composure some. It wasn't that deep. Y'all tried to get under Mook's skin, and I just don't understand why. It got to be the Dot Mob Cave Game joint. So y'all niggas should just have a card and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? My honest opinion. I ain't know the beef was that serious. That's a brawl where niggas could that I seriously get hurt. Trust me, it's nothing cool about getting hurt. I ain't been hurt in a while long. And now I, I remember what it feels like now. <laughs> it's not cool. So it was just like, we don't want battle rap to grow to the point that we look like a bunch of hood niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's going to ultimately come down to once we don't like each other. Let's not forget, if you don't like each other, that's what the stage is for. Let's stop making up battles and not saying we need some more grudge matches. But if you don't like a nigga, then call him out to battle, son. Say what you got to say there. You know what I'm saying? And that, like, that's what this whole thing is, is about. That's what battle rap is about, son. Like, but I just, I don't know, man. I don't like the way this turned. Because I feel like mad niggas, like even Tay Rock, okay, you was one of the top niggas. Like, you was definitely one of the top niggas. Niggas is definitely about to trash you right now. You just punched Jeezy and was just chilling making Instagram fucking blogs and this, that, and the third. I'll try to punch his head off and da-da. Now you crickets. Now it's two weeks later, you crickets. You see what I'm saying? Like, Briz, you was been wilding. Like, you don't even got a Twitter no more now. Like, I just feel like that shit is crazy. And, like, niggas need to slow down. Like, like no Swave airing niggas out. Swave is on, on a, some other shit right now, getting at niggas. So it's just like, y'all niggas got to calm down. You battlers, like, just relax before y'all just run the social media and feel like y'all got to defend yourself. Tell y'all side, but, like, don't just get on social media and say anything because nine times out of ten, you still going to be in your films, and it's not going to be a good look for you. I'm going to tell you right now, the fans don't give a fuck. Fans love Tay Rock. I seen they was trashing him, like, trashing this nigga, and they love this nigga. You see what I'm saying? So that's just my message to y'all niggas. Like, don't just rush and, and try to make anything, say anything. It's not going to help, man. Not if it, especially if it's going to make things worse for you. Like, this is how you niggas eat. A lot of you niggas got kids. Y'all fucking your own bread up, man. And I don't want to see Tay Rock or, or, or Brez or T-Top get blackballed. Now you niggas ain't battling like that because these niggas keep coming at y'all helmets saying, oh, you niggas left this nigga. Y'all don't ride for your squad or... Whatever angles these niggas is going to have, it's going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything can be said to you niggas. So, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, Briz. I don't know. I just feel like like you, 
you kind of you definitely jumped out the window. Then I'm seeing the I'm looking at it again when you was crouching while Mook was while Kyle was rapping. You crouching, looking crazy, bro. So it's this like I really wish you had just been like, yo, I was on some other shit. I was bugging my bad, y'all. Boom. I think the that, that would have got a way better reception than you trying to defend what you did. Is basically what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? And coming from North Carolina. Like I don't like I know what's up with you niggas, you and T Top. Shout out to Blu ray Blade, Billy Duchess. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know coming from now the South is here now. Now, Blow did his thing and hell spit that he down, but I know how hard that shit was, nigga. Like the fuck we smoked plenty of blunts together, nigga. So it's just like I don't wanna see y'all niggas going backwards over some dumb shit. That's all I gotta say. Shout out to y'all niggas for rocking with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Everything the fuck up. I'm out. One.